Welcome to Animersk, the world's first ocean-going container vessel able to sail on green methanol. Let's walk to the other end of the vessel where the engine is and see what makes Animersk very special. She is 350 meters long, so let's hurry up. We can take the scenic route on deck or the passageway under deck if the weather is rough. This is the stern, the far most end of the vessel. Located below is the engine, and up here, you can see the funnel. We are sailing on green methanol, which means we can save up to 280 tons of CO2 per day compared when sailing with conventional marine fuel. Let's go visit the engine down below. This is the engine control room, where our main engine is being monitored and controlled together with other equipments and machineries. And next door, we have the main engine. Let's go and have a look. It's an eight-cylinder engine which produces more than 44,000 kilowatts to move the vessel and its cargo forward. It's a dual fuel engine, meaning it can run on methanol and also on conventional marine fuel. This is the bunker station where the ship is being fueled. The tanks below me can hold maximum of 16,000 cubic meters of methanol. On full tanks, we can sail more than 41,000 kilometers, just the same as a trip around the world. Just to give you an idea of how much cargo we can move, below me are the cargo holds, where the containers are stacked 12 layers high, and above deck, where we are right now, can go up to maximum of 11 layers high. And we have container rows like this from bow to stern, making us able to load more than 16,000 20-foot containers. We are now inside the so-called accommodation located in the forward part of the ship, where my 21 colleagues and myself live. We all have our own private cabins, a common dining room, a hospital, a fitness room, a cinema, a recreation room, and even a small pool to cool down after working hours. We are now at the bridge of Animersk, located on the top floor of the accommodation, all the way forward of the vessel. The vessel is a staggering 53.5 meters wide, and this is where I work with my colleagues, navigating the ship with the crew and the cargo, delivering it safely from port to port.